Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my long awaited how I make my scripts for my plan with me's video. So first things first, um, you will need Silhouette Studio. It is free to download on the Silhouette website. I do have the older version and you will need a Silhouette machine or some type of sticker cutting machine from the company. I have a Silhouette Cameo. It will be linked in the description box down below. And yeah, that's what you need to do this. And we're gonna get started. So first things first, you need to make sure you have your registration marks and your page set up on your screen. So in order to do that, you're going to come up here to this page looking document and it says open page setup panel. We're going to click that and we're going to click this dark one here, which is the registration marks. You can see that mine are on. Usually your page will probably start looking something like this. So I'm going to turn my registration marks on. I have them set to default and we need to make sure we start there. Next, we need to choose our font. I already know which fonts I'm going to use for this um, spread. So first we're going to click here on the letter and you will type in which font you want. I want Gen Plans. I will have that font link down below. She's a fellow, fellow planner girl and you can get her font off Etsy, but you can see I have other fonts that I've used before. Um, I'm not gonna show you how to input new fonts into Silhouette. Oh, we are getting the rainbow wheel of death. Um, but it's really easy to do if you're not sure how to do it. You can Google it and find a step-by-step. -step. It is really easy. So once we have our font picked, again, I'm choosing Gen Plans. You're gonna go up here to these lines. This is the open line style panel and we're going to click on the colorful one that says line color. This will bring us to what we want the outline of the text to be. I don't want there to be any outline on my text because I don't want it to cut there. So I'm going to select this one that has this little grid pattern inside of it. And that's just no line color. Then we're going to click on this little panel, which is the fill panel. And for our text, I want my text to be black. So I'm going to choose black. You can choose whatever color you want, but I figure most of us are going to want black scripts. So that's what I'm going to do. So the other thing you're going to need for this, or at least I think I need for this is my planner, which you guys can't see because it is next to me and I'm recording on my computer, but I think it is helpful to have the stickers with the boxes and the characters already laid down when making the scripts because it gives you an idea of about how much room and space you have when making them. And to me, it helps me get the size more correct. This was the part that I wasn't as comfortable with sharing because I don't have any exact measurements for you all. I just kind of eyeball it and I know that's going to probably drive some of you crazy and I apologize. So next we're going to come over here and click on the A text button and that's going to bring this up here. So here's we are going to going to start our text and I have like a half box or a quarter box um, there with a character sticker to mark checking in to the Grand Californian Hotel. So I'm going to write check into Grand Californian. Okay, so now that we have the text, I want to center it because I don't think that's gonna look very good where it's going. Um, the character sticker is on the left side of the box as well. So we're going to click on the A again, which is the text style panel. And here is where you can choose where you want it. So I'm going to click the center one. Next, I'm looking at this and I think this looks a little bit long. So I'm gonna come in here for this box and I think I like how that looks better. But the spacing between the lines of the text to me looks a little bit big and I would like it a little bit smaller. And I do this for a lot of my 
weeks I screw with the line spacing. So you're gonna go over here to character spacing and we're gonna mess with the line spacing. This is the vertical spacing between the words. You can also mess with the horizontal spacing between the words, but I prefer it to stay where it is most of the time. I don't really use this function much. So line spacing, I use this a lot. Um, it's one of my most used features in making text. I like the lines to be closer together. It's just the look I like. So now that I have the spacing to where I want, we are going to go over to the star, which is the offset panel. We are going to offset our text. And as we can see here, the text is offset in red. That's going to tell that red line is where the silhouette is going to cut. So if I pull the text out of it, you can see all these little red panels here. That's not the right word, bubbles, I guess. These are all going to be cut out too. And I don't want the silhouette to waste its time cutting all those out. So I'm gonna grab this eraser tool and erase all these little nuisances in the middle of this text. You don't have to do this with every text. You don't have to, it, it really varies on how bubbly the font is, the character spacing, all that kind of stuff. So this one, I can see that the C makes a closed loop there. So I'm just gonna get rid of that bubble. I'm gonna cut this one down more, just trying to save on the cut time. Now, before I can grab or do anything other than erase, I need to come up here and click this arrow button. Now I can bring this up and put it into the offset panel. Now we need to group these two texts together. So you need to click down on the click button of your mouse pad and drag across to highlight both the text and the cut lines. Now there's two ways you can do this. Number one, you can come up here to I never do it this way, hang on a second, to object and group, which it does give you the keys on your keyboard that you can use, which is command G, and that's how I always do it, so I don't actually go up and do it the manual way, but you can ungroup things here too if you need to. So here, you come up here to object, go down to group, and group it. Now these two things are one, I can no longer take them apart, so now we need to get it down into the proper size for the box. The boxes are one and a half inches wide. I know that with a character sticker, my personal preference is to not have the script above an inch in length. So I already know that no matter what, my script's gonna be at least this small. However, this is like a not a true half box. It's a little bit smaller than a half box. So I know that that half an inch here is gonna be too big for that box. So we still need to go a little bit smaller and I'll probably want it around 4.2, 4.25. Just from me fiddling with this, I know that's really annoying. <laughs> um, of an answer that I don't have exact measurements, but I don't, and this is how I do it. So I'm just doing this video how I do it, and hopefully you guys understand that. So now this is basically how I make a script. So this is one script. So I have bent my cutting board, so anything here where it's bent, the ink rubs off. Usually you can start putting your scripts just there. I have to start mine down here on this side or the ink will rub off. So the next script I need to make is Sephora. That's where we went next. So I'm gonna click on the A. I'm gonna do this one a little bit faster. And this time it's just one word, so I don't have any centering to do or anything like that. I do have to get rid of this little blurb there using the erase tool and then you come up and then you group 
And then this one is on a little thing. So for little things, I like them to be 0 0.300 about, or as close as I can get it. Some of the fonts, it doesn't like to be that size, so I just get it close. And again, I know I like it under an inch, so I am gonna go a little bit smaller just to get it under that inch line. And that is my next script. And we're gonna do one more really fast and then I'll probably do a time lapse of me making the rest of the scripts or at least a good portion of them. And then I will show you the actual cutting process somehow. Okay, sound good? So next one we're gonna do, we went to the Uva bar. Oh, see, even I make mistakes. You gotta click A, you gotta click the A, Gotta click the screen to get it going. Yuva Bar is in downtown Disney. So see, here you can see how there's this space between the cut lines. It will make two different stickers because these two don't connect. And this is another area where I don't know what to tell you guys or how to make them connect other than going back up to the A. Well, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can decrease the character spacing or you can highlight the whole thing, come up to object, ungroup, and now you can see each one of these letters are individually highlightable, highlight three, or the first word entirely, move it over a little bit, highlight the whole word again, and come up to object. And remember, it does tell you the symbol. So you can use, you know, up, command G, or just command G to group. I'm just showing you how to manually do it, but it does remind you of how to do it on your keyboard right here. So we're going to group those again. And I'm going to delete these because those are now off compared to what this is. So we're going to click the Uva bar script, go back over to the offset panel and offset it again. And now you can see that they overlap. And here I have no erasing to do. So I'm going to highlight it, going to group it. Did I group Sephora? Am I going crazy? I did group it. Okay, you're going to group it and we're going to size it again. Perfect, and bring it over. And that's how I format the script. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a whole row and then I will be back to show you what that looks like. Hi friends, Voice Over Me has taken over this portion. Um, in between filming that last clip and starting this one, a silhouette did, did close out on me. So um, you can see me trying to get the black text back and I'm showing you a couple different ways to do that here. It is rather sped up, so if you need to watch it a few times, I do apologize, but um, it does happen. So I'm just speeding through here and I wanted to mention now that I'm going to have some of my most used measurements or things that I look for measurement wise linked down below because I understand how frustrating that is. And then I'm going to have the paper I use linked down below because I am a bad YouTuber, can never remember what it's called. Mainly because I've only ordered it once because I only use one sheet of paper a week because I print all the sheets for that week on that one paper and then that's it. And honestly, if I really wanted to conserve, I could probably get two or three weeks worth on one sheet. Um, this week specifically that I'm making the scripts for, I did go to Disneyland, so I have more scripts than normal. Um, it, yeah, I have about 10 to 15 more scripts than I would usually have in a week, so it's, it's a lot, and I 
wanted to hop on here and just add a few things in while I was making these scripts. I don't know if this video is helpful. I really hope it is, and I hope it inspires some of you guys to make your own scripts. If you have any questions, please let me know, as well as if you have any tips for me. I am self-taught. I watched like one or two videos and went for it one day um, while getting over my ex. So I am always here for, you know, constructive criticism, learning new tricks with silhouette, anything you have to offer, because I'm sure there are a lot of people out there a lot more knowledgeable than me in this program with this software and also I usually just kind of stack all of mine differently and I'm sure I might this might be redundant and I might have said this in the filming clip that's about to come up but I kind of black out or I kind of did black out while filming this so I don't really remember what I said so if I I repeat myself I am seriously sorry but <laughs> Um, cause I might, but I'm going to show you guys how to make individual sheets. So if you want to make sheets that you get from like sticker shops, you can do that. I don't personally do that. I just pull mine off this one sheet and throw it all away because I can't print on it again. And I just use one sheet a week, which I know is kind of wasteful. I'm sorry. I recycle it. I shouldn't say I throw it away. I recycle. I do what I'm supposed to do. I help the planet. And actually, sometimes I do save a the sticker backing because it can be really useful. Um, if I'm really desperate, I can hole punch it and put it in my character sticker organization. So I have reused it, so don't come for me. <laughs> but I just wanted to hop on here really quick and add in a few little things. So make sure to check the description box. If you have any questions, there might be some answers there. Because if I get questions um, in the comments or anything, I do sometimes update the description box with that question and an answer if I think it was a really good one. Um, or one that might be helpful to others. Or sometimes I pin comments that I think might be helpful to others or other people that might have the same questions. So I hope this was helpful and we're about to continue on with the tutorial here because I'm almost done making my scripts. You're only going to see me do this for the first half of the week and I do the second half of the week and the sidebar off camera because otherwise we would be here all day and nobody wants to see that. Am I right? Am I right, friends? Um, but that's it. So now screen recording me is going to take over in a few seconds. So goodbye voiceover me. <laughs> oh my god, I hate myself sometimes. Okay, so I've made some of the scripts. I will probably make the rest off um, screen record. But the last thing I wanted to show you is how I do it. And then I'm going to show you just something a little bit extra in case you want to do it differently than me. So you'll see what I mean. I do it not like shops do it where you like you don't get a little cute formatted sheet, but I will show you how to do that in case you want it that way. So I'm going to do it my way first. Um, for both of them, we're going to use this function. Um, I'm going to we're going to go over to this transform function right here and there's construction now so we're dealing with it and we're going to go over and click and highlight this entire first row and this is why you need to group things because otherwise it's going to throw this off i want everything to be aligned to the right and then i want them to be evenly spaced vertically and now i'm going to group them together again so that they're all one. So now this all moves together. It's no longer individual. And I'm going to do the same thing. Now, if you don't want them aligned to the right like I do, I think it's easier so that that way I can bend the sticker sheet and have an edge of the sticker pop up. Um, I think it makes it easier to get them off. But if you want them centered, you can do them centered. If you want them to the right, you can do them to the right. Um, but I'm going to do mine to the left and then equally spaced and again I'm going to group them that time I just did it on my keyboard and that's pretty much how you do it I'm going to be adding 
scripts to these. I've only planned out Monday through Wednesday, and that's all these scripts. This is my Disney trip. Um, that plan with me will be up before this. So if you're watching this video, it's the video right before this, and I will link it in the cards here. Um, but that's how you do it my way. But let's say you wanted these on a sheet, okay? So let's just go ahead and make this one the same, and I will group these for now just to make things easier. Let's say you wanted these on a sheet. So we are going to now make these all eat. Nope. I always struggle with this part. There we go. Um, so we're going to evenly space those. You can play around with these functions. They're kind of fun. Um, now let's say we want these on a nice little sheet. You know, we don't want to cut this thing, whole thing out. Or maybe you're just making a whole sheet of run scripts, which just to show you for time's sake, if you were, because I didn't mention this earlier and I did do it when I was making scripts. So this is our... This is our script. Pretend I've taken this little blip out. If you want another one, so we've sized it. This is what our run script looked like. You can hit Command C, which is copy, and Command V as in Victor to paste. And then you can get a whole sheet of them. And then there is this button here, so you can duplicate them all you want and make as many of them as you want. Um, so if you want, you know, a bunch of the same script like you would get at a shop, you can do that. And here's how you would cut it out like that. So the machine's going to cut each around the red. So we're going to make a square and we're going to change this in a, in a minute. So just don't worry that you can't see anything. We're going to go to the line and this time we're going to click blue. And then we're going to go to the fill and we're going to click see through. So you can see here. Um, oh, didn't mean to do that. I forgot to click out. So we're just going to delete that. Um, you need to make sure to always click back um, to select or you're going to just keep drawing boxes. Um, so here's our box formatted around our sheet. So, um, I will come back in a little later to show you at the end of the week when I have the rest of my scripts done to show you how we print and cut them. But this is how you would cut a separate sheet and I will probably, let's see if I can make this smaller because I have a lot of other scripts I want to make this week. There we go. I will probably keep this like this so you guys can see what I mean. So I'm going to group this all together. So now this is all one. And we're just going to put it in this corner so that I can format all my other scripts around this and show you guys the difference. So I will be back at the end of the week. So here I have all my scripts done for the week. Again, this is not how I usually do it because I don't usually have this box here. They're just usually all in columns like these are. And then I just pull them off this one sheet and throw it away. But I'm going to show you guys how to make individual sheets using this blue box. So first things first, we need to print our sheet. I have preloaded my printer with the paper that I use. Again, it will be linked down below because I don't know what it's called. So in order to print it, we're going to go up to this bar and hit send to printer. Um, I have a rainbow wheel of death. I realized during editing that the rainbow wheel doesn't show up, so that's fun. Here we have this print preview page. You can see it prints the registration marks and my scripts. So I'm going to click print, which will bring us up to my printer and what I want. For media and quality, I keep this the same. I'm going to select paper type. I select photo glossy paper and I select best quality and I send to print. 
So we are going to let that print and then I will be right back. Actually, while it's printing, I usually take that time to set up my silhouette, plug it in, make sure that it's plugged into my computer, which it's not currently, so, um, and get that all set up. So if your silhouette, like mine, doesn't live permanently set up, now is a great time to get that together. I, um, my silhouette I have and I take up and I break down every week that I print stickers, so, um, that's interesting. It doesn't have a permanent place where it lives and it's set up, so it is kind of a pain in the butt, but that's just how I do it. Okay, as we can see here, I have my printed sheet of scripts all ready to go. You are going to, it's really hard to do this with one hand, lay them onto your cut mat, which mine again is really old and you can see where it's bent here. Then I will, I prefer to keep the lid open on mine really hard to do with one hand. I am going to load this into the cut machine and show you guys what that looks like because I can't do this with one hand. Okay so I've loaded my cut mat into my silhouette so this is what it looks like and now back to the computer. Okay so now we have our sheet printed and loaded into our silhouette ready to cut. Now we are going to go up to the send button and click send. We're going to click two different types of paper and this is where it's really important. So here on the red, you can see I have selected sticker paper clear. For the blue one, we are going to change it to white. Um, just so that it recognizes that it's a different cut line than these. And I don't want it to sketch, I want it to cut. So coming back up to the first one, I want to select to show you guys what I like my cut lines to be at. So I like my blade to be between a 5 and a 6. Or 4 and 5 depending on what I'm doing. I like to bring the force down for this to 7 and the speed up to five, and I want only one pass. This is for the red, meaning this is for everything outlined in red. These are my scripts. For the blue, I want the blade to be up a little higher. Um, I want the speed to be at 10. And I want it to do two passes, and I'm going to have the force just be at eight, seven or eight. It'll cut through all the way this way, or at least I have found that it does. These are what works with my silhouette. It did take some playing with these numbers to get it correct. So clicking back on the red to make sure I like where everything is at. And I'm going to actually put this down one more. And we are going to send it to printer now. So click send, and I will see you back on my cell phone. You guys can hear it go. So I just hit send, and my silhouette is checking all of my registration marks, and it is going to start cutting. Okay, so now we're under the professional lighting, so you can see how dirty my cutting board really is. But let's just judge me. So this just came off and now you have your scripts and the sheet that I had formatted, that blue square. So I'm going to peel this off to show you guys that we'll come back to the square in a second. Come on. Okay, here is what I would usually have. It's a full sheet minus the square being cut out. And the reason I showed you earlier, I like to line them up to the side is so that I can just bend it along here and all the scripts will start popping up on their edges and then I can just peel them up and use them. So I just bend them along here and then they start popping up and I have my scripts as you can see right here for my plan with me. 
Now, I put that one down. I'm very crooked. I realize this. Now, I do have to be careful with them on my, with the print on my fingers. Here's the sheet that we cut out separately. And you can see they're all a separate sheet. So if you wanted this to be all run stickers or all trash stickers or laundry stickers, you could do that. But same thing here. I had them all lined up in this one to the side so that I can bend them. And I don't know. Do you see how the edges are starting to come up? Yeah, so it works out really well. This is just how I make my stickers and then I can go and put them in my planner. Before I put them in my planner to film though, I usually do take them all off the sheet I just printed and put them on here first because I find that to be easier. Okay, so as I was saying before I got a phone call, I usually take them off the sheet and just kind of put them into a book I usually use my tweezers. I find it easier to get them off the sheet with my tweezers to get the little edges up. Um, my stickers are not kiss cut perfectly like they are in shops. I know I've said this before. Um, I don't know how to make them cut better because when I make the blade, see how I can't get this one up? When I make the blade longer, it cuts all the way through and they're not kiss cut. So this is the closest I have come to getting things perfect. I'm sure some of you guys have um, skills or knowledge that I don't have and can maybe comment down below, but this is just how I do it. And that is the video that has been requested. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope that this was useful for you guys. I interrupt myself right now editing Rosie because I wanted to show you what the spread ended up looking like with all the scripts so you guys can see how they fit in there, the ones that I formatted with you guys, and you could see the finished product in case you did not watch that plan with me. Again, it'll be linked in the cards and in the description box down below. Now, back to the previous video making your own scripts if you have any questions or advice please leave it down below it's always appreciated and i will see you on my next video bye friends